Hi everyone, welcome back to the Scottish Cowboys Darts channel. Today we're going to be looking at a Target product, and it's an old Target product, but it's my favourite player, Raymond Van Barneveld, and these are the Gen 1. Now I saw these in a local shop, and I picked them up. He only had them in 21 grams, but I hadn't reviewed them, so I got them. I don't know how I got on with 21 grams, because I'm more of a 23, 24 grams now. Used to be 25, but I've came down. These retail at £113.95. They come in 21, 23 and 25. Now these are no longer in production. I believe the production has been stopped to these. So when they run out of stock, there will be no more. So if you see, what you, if you like what you see in this review and you want to set, be very quick. Let's do the usual. Let's get them over the table. Get a close up. Get them on the board. And I'll meet you back here. I'll do a little recap and give you my ratings. On the front of the box you've got a really sinister picture of RVB himself telling you the Raymond Van Barneveld RVB 95s telling you they're 95% tungsten and they're steel tip Inside the box the darts come in a little foam package held all together very uh, firmly Beautiful black flights and the black stems just setting it off really nice. They come in 21, 23, 25 grams. The sizes are 50 by 6.6, 51 by 6.85 and 51 by 7.14. All with number 6 flights, short shafts. What you get inside it is 3 dart barrels, 3 pro grip shafts in black, 3 RVB flights and 3 30mm fire point blacks. They are one hundred and thirteen pounds and ninety five pence. So we've got the RVBs Generation One out of the box, built up and on the table. So we'll remove two darts so we can just focus on the one. And here we go. As I said earlier, the front has got the thirty millimeter firestorm points. Now these are really good points if you like to grip on the point. If you put your finger on here at any point. It's got lots of grip, but it does damage your board. I don't really use them, but I will be using them for this review. The front of the barrel is really, really unique. It's got a tapered nose. What you'll see is it's not a knurl, it's just square cuts. So you've got what you would be your traditional grooves but with lateral cuts inside them to give you that square raised. Now that's also been milled out in that big slot with that detail inside it, giving it great grip. The grip at the front of that is good, but when you look at that, it looks as if it would be better, but it's not. It's just, I would say it's probably a two and a half. It's just not deep. Now the RVB Echoes which I use has got the knurl on the front of it and it gives you much better grip at the front. That detail goes all the way up to the middle of the dart where you've got the ring grips at the back. The ring grips are good grip, really good. If you're a rear gripper, this is going to be good for you, you're going to get great push. I'm going to say the rear is going to be about a three, three and a half. You can just see it's normal square cut grooves. And then at the back you've got the Target logo. You've got the Pro Grip short stem and Raymond's signature flights for his Gen 1. I'm going to measure them. I'm going to say these are a number 6. Yes, number 6 flight. Just under 33 millimeters. There you go. So that's a number 6. The stem is going to be a short just measure it just to show. There you go, 33.8, so short. Now the dimensions for these. As I said earlier, they come in 21, 23, 25. These are the 21s I'm doing, so they should be 50 millimeters by 6.6. .6. So fifty point zero two, so the it's forty nine point nine nine. Not going to get much better than that. And the diameter is 
6.66. I don't like that. But anyway, one thing you'll see is the front of this dart, it's very reminiscent of Stephen Bunting's dart. As you can see with the square, it's just the same detail that's on Bunting's dart, but I don't think that's on his new dart. I think that's been changed. But I'm looking forward to trying this, see what kind of grip I get out of it. So the depth at the rear, where it's drilled out, that's coming in at 13.5 millimetres. So let's get these onto the scales so we can do the close up and I can get them onto the board. Dart number one 21.23. Dart number two 21.25. And dart number three. It's 21.21. So they are all absolutely brilliant. They're bang on in tolerance. Full set up, 22.64. See here you have this 30mm Target Firestorm Swiss Point. As you can see, it's got grip 3 quarters of the full stem giving you people that place your finger on the point a bit of push. Then you come up to the taper at the nose, coming up to that section where it's so similar to Stephen Bunton's darts. I don't know if Stephen Bunton's darts got it from the Gen 1 Raymond Van Barneveld dart, but as you can see it's very similar, a nice grip. Then you've got the square cut ring grooves coming up to the smooth section at the back with the Target logo. Your Pro Grip Short Stem and your RVB Gen 1 Flight. I've got the RVB Gen 1 set up. As you can see, I've put short K Flex number 2s in them. They come supplied with short stems anyway, but they come with number 6 flights, which I don't really like. So Let's have a go, see how we go on. Come out of hand really well. These are 21 grams. I'm used to 23, 24. So they're a bit light. But they're going <laughs> really well. They're flying so good. I think I might invest in a set of these and a bigger weight. They're going straight, just falling a bit short because of the weight. But I like the grip. They remind me of the Stephen Bunton darts, but these are not as aggressive as the Bunton darts. I'm going to say the grip at the front of these is about a two, two and a half. The grip at the rear, probably a three. But lovely darts, they go through the air really well. They really suit the K Flex short. So let's go straight on to the 2 1 challenge.
20. Double. The new wire, 20. Yes, game shot and a match. Double. Let's recap on the RVB Gen 1s from Target. On the 2 1 challenge, that was different. Get to finish, can I finish, get to finish, can I finish, ah, crazy. Anyway, grip rating, front 2.5, middle 3, and the rear 3.5 where the ring grooves are. That's the grippiest part of the dart at the rear. Value for money, at £113.95, the 95% tungsten, they come in great packaging, it's a neat out of 10. Based on the RVB Echoes, with a... Put my RVB Echoes down for these? No, but these are good darts. These are an 8 out of 10. I like these. If these were a 23 grams, that rating might be higher. I might have felt even more comfortable with them. The 2 1 challenge, I've done it in a 54.82 average, 11 darts. Could have been better. But we're only practicing, we're going for it. I took my chances. As I said earlier, these are very hard to find now. They're getting, they're, but I don't think 21 grams are in stock at Target anymore. So if you see them, buy them. Once the 23 and the 25 are out of stock, they won't be coming back into stock, as far as I believe. I may be wrong, but I don't think I am. So guys, if you've liked what you've seen, please hit the subscribe button. Give me a little thumbs up. Turn on the notifications for my next review. Most importantly, keep enjoying your darts. And I'll catch you in the next review.